Hello and welcome to our Sunday School lesson on Facebook and on YouTube. We are so glad that you are joining us today. Um, if you happen to be in the Mount Pleasant area, we would love for you to join us in person when you are ready. And, um, and you can find more information on our website at mptfumc.org. And um, my name is Jennifer Lane, and I'm the Director of Children and Youth Ministries at First United Methodist Church in Mount Pleasant. And um, again, I'm so excited that you're joining us today. We have another awesome Grinchmas lesson today and um, a really fun art activity um, that's going to, we're going to do um, today, but then um, we're going to add it to our project that we're doing next week too. So it's, um, it's sort of a two week lesson, um, but we are super glad that you're joining us. Why don't you join me in prayer, please? Oh Lord, we are so grateful to be here together with you today. Thank you, love, Lord, for just giving us love, never ending love, always and forever. In this we pray, amen. And all the children said, amen, amen, amen. Well, I'm glad you joined us today. We're gonna start today with our box of wonder. Ooh. Now listen, I can't shake this box of wonder around very much because there's three things in there and they're all breakable. So I can't shake it around, but do you hear it in there? Now your big clue is three. I want you to think about the Christmas story and think of what are something that usually is in threes that we talk about at Christmas. Hmm. Think about that. Do you have an idea? All right, I'm gonna show you. <gasps> Look at that. It's our, um, for our nativity scene, here's one of them. Here's the second one. And here's the third. And do you see they all have gifts in their hand? There's a gift, there's a gift, there's a gift. Do you remember the name of these three people in the Bible? We don't know for sure that it was three, but they brought three gifts. So we always think that there were three of them. Um, and they are called the Magi or sometimes the Wise Men. And um, I keep adding this to our crush as another name for a nativity scene. Um, right here, it's out of, um, you can't always see it, but I'm gonna have a picture of it when it's all put together. But I'm gonna add those three um, Magi to our um, nativity scene here. And I'm going to start off with, well, first I wanna stop. What do you remember about the Magi? Um, I gave you some information. They brought three gifts. Does anybody remember what the three gifts were? I bet you know one. It's um, the same color as this crown and uh, of this chalice or this, um, this bowl with this covered bowl. Gold, right. Um, so one of the um, magi brought gold and one of the magi brought frankincense. That's a funny word, say that with me, frankincense. And the other one brought myrrh. Um, myrrh's another funny name, say that with me, myrrh. Um, and they brought these gifts. These are very important gifts that would be brought to a king and they were bringing them to Jesus. And um, in our text today, in our scripture, we're going to hear about the new king. And that new king, who is that new king, that baby? You're right, it was Jesus, you're absolutely right. Now, I want you to think about that as we read our, the next part of our story. Again, I'm reading from How the Grinch Stole Christmas by Dr. Seuss, and I'm reading um, some pages in the center. We started this last week. Um, so listen, look, the picture is awesome. It says, Mary, Mary, look at that, and there's, trains and blocks and balls and it looks like tennis rackets and nets and drums and Christmas trees and musical instruments and jack-in-the-box. Look at this tall crazy jack-in-the-box um, all over the place and it, here's what it says. All the who girls and boys 
would wake bright and early. They'd rush for their toys and then, oh, the noise. Oh, the noise, 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 noise. That's one thing the Grinch hated. The noise, 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 noise. Grinch is sort of grumpy, isn't he? <laughs> then the Who's, young and old, would sit down to a feast. They'd feast and they'd feast and they'd feast, feast, feast. They would feast on the Who pudding and rare who roast beef, which was something the Grinch couldn't stand in the least. Look at that super long table that all the Grinches are sitting at. What's your favorite Christmas food? Hmm. I think we usually have um, a roast pork, and, and I like that very much. Um, then they do something he liked least of all. Every who down in Whoville, the tall and the small, would stand close together with Christmas bells ringing. They'd stand hand in hand and the who's would start singing. They'd sing and they'd sing and they'd sing and they'd sing and sing, sing, sing. And the more the Grinch thought of this who Christmas sing, the more the Grinch thought, I must stop the whole thing. Why, for 53 years I've put up with it now, I must stop this Christmas from coming, but how? And we're going to stop there. We don't know how he'll stop it. Now, we're going to read the story of the Magi from our Celebrate Wonder Bible Storybook. And um, this comes from Matthew 2, 1 through, um, this is through 12, but I'm going to continue the story just a little bit and tell you the rest. But I want you to listen really carefully as I'm, as I'm reading for the parts where they keep talking about the new king, all right? In a faraway place, there were magi who spent their time watching the stars. One night, they noticed a very special star in the sky. It was bright and seemed to be moving ahead of them. The magi thought the special star would lead them to the new king. They wanted to bring special gifts to the new king. They packed frankincense, gold, and myrrh gifts fit for a king and set out following the star. The Magi arrived in Bethlehem following the special star until it stopped over a little house. When the Magi entered the house, they met the new king, Jesus, his mom, Mary, and his dad, Joseph. The Magi knelt down and offered Jesus their gifts. Look at this beautiful picture. Now, they keep talking about the new king. Did you hear that? They even identify Jesus as the new king. If there's a new king, that means that there's an old king. And this is the little part that I'm going to tell you about that's not in this story. The old king's name was Herod, and Herod was very worried about this new king. Um, he wanted to stop pretty much Christmas from coming. Does that sound familiar to any of you? <laughs> I hope so, because we just read about the Grinch and the Grinch wants to stop Christmas too, doesn't he? And um, so King Herod um, did something awful, just awful, awful, awful to try and stop Jesus from becoming the king um, that he was rightfully meant to be as the son of God. And um, he tried so hard that he even proclaimed that all baby boys had to be killed. Now, of course, moms all over um, Egypt and Bethlehem and Nazareth weren't going to kill their baby boys. But um, that's what King Herod tried so hard to do to stop this Christmas 
from coming. And we all know that the Grinch doesn't stop Christmas from coming and neither can King Herod. So again, God is with us and showing us the way all the time. And today, as part of our art projects, we're going to make something really special. Um, we're going to make a star and we're going to make it just how Dr. Seuss taught himself how to draw stars. Isn't that exciting? And we're going to do it with some tin foil. So if you got a kit um, from our church, you'll want to pull out um, a couple of things. If you didn't get this kit, you can pull out from home all of these things. You probably have all of these things at home. So we need some tin foil. Um, most houses have that. Um, we need a few pieces of um, just white paper. Um, you probably want um, one side blank. So it can't be too scrap, like if both sides have stuff written on it, but it's not gonna be seen. So if it doesn't bother you and you can write over it, that's fine. Make sure it's okay with your parents. Um, a piece of bright colored construction paper, um, a pencil, um, you're going to want acrylics work best, um, acrylic paints. Um, this is a little set that we sent with you guys. And it, um, for those of you that got the kit, and you'll notice it says acrylic at the top. Um, you'll maybe want a foam brush and a, a paintbrush. Um, a little bit of water anytime you're doing that. Um, some uh, glue stick and um, tacky glue. This is probably the most um, supplies that you need for any of the projects we're doing. The tacky glue is really important um, in getting the um, tin foil to stick. But once we get that, then, um, then you can just use your regular glue stick. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your acrylic paint and you can add, um, if you got them from us, I already did this, um, you can add just a little bit of, um, and I mean just a little bit, of dish soap to this and mix it up. And, um, and that'll make it so that it will adhere to your tin foil and it won't flake off, okay? So that's um, two things. And then you're going to have fun. Um, and I want you to paint your tin foil however you want. I really had fun. I was smushing my brush for a lot of these. I also um, took a corner of my tin foil here and crumpled it up and um, I made some of the shapes with this crumpled up piece of tin foil. I also crumpled up a piece of um, uh, paper towel and used that. You could use your hands, you could use whatever. Now careful with acrylic paints, where are my acrylics? Um, these will. Um, ruin your clothing. So put on a big old t-shirt or something um, so that you don't get paint on your good clothing. Um, but have fun and paint this however you want. Okay, and then you're going to set it aside to dry. All right, now here comes the cool part that we learned from Dr. Seuss. Um, Dr. Seuss shows us how we can um, do I not? Oh, I have markers. Okay. Um, how we can make a star um, without, um, because stars are hard to draw. And um, so let me show you. I'm going to hold it up here. Um, so what you want to do is make like a stick person. So here's your stick person's legs and then a little body. Um, and you want that neck to go way up and then some arms and no head. I know that's crazy, isn't it? But that's how you make a star, how Dr. Seuss does. So here is our um, sort of our stick person with no head, all right? So now every one of these lines that comes out is going to be a point of your star. So put a V on all of these ends So here we've got V's on all the ends, and then connect them. Connect your V's in the middle so that you get sort of another V in the center. 
Now we're gonna cut these out. And so if you don't have perfect lines, it's okay. But do you see that star? Now I have, look, I did, um, I did two on this one and I liked one of them and I cut it out for mine. I did three on this one. I did more on this one. So, you know, um, have until you're happy with one, um, keep cutting until you get one that you like and then um, cut out your star around here and you will end up, where's mine, um, with a star like this. And, um, and you can see that, um, I'm gonna make it darker so you can see, but you can see my um, stick person is still right there. And that's okay, because we're, and I want you then to glue that and be really super careful when you glue that. Use your tacky glue. Um, that's why we have this. And um, I think you can um, get out a, a scrap piece of paper and um, use a paintbrush and make sure that when you're doing this, you get it all the way to the ends. Those points of the star are super important. And um, you're going to glue that onto the back side of your tin foil. Okay, so let me keep doing this. I'm gonna um, make sure I get all of my points good. And you know what? Um, I'm going really fast and you cannot keep up with me, I know that, but you can stop this whenever you'd like and then go back to it. So, um, look, I've got a double-sided star because I didn't bring my scissors over. But so I suck it down, upside down on my thing, and then I would cut that out, okay? And then once I have that cut out from my tin foil, it will look like this. And then I'm gonna take my construction paper and I'm gonna glue it down on that. And that time you can just use regular old um, glue stick and it will look like this. And then I didn't bring my scissors over, so you gotta forgive me, but you're gonna cut this out and um, you're going to leave a border around it, just like I did here with this star. Okay, let me show you. So see, I have a border going around it and I cut it out. Now, here's the important part save this someplace pretty special because we are next week going to make Christmas trees and this will be the very top of your Christmas tree. We were going to make Seuss inspired Christmas trees and we're going to put our Seuss star on top of it. And the wonderful thing about Seuss, Dr. Seuss is when we are inspired by him, nothing of his is perfect. He doesn't draw perfect things. So our stars are sort of wonky and that's all good because that's exactly how Dr. Seuss did it. And so that is our project for today. Now, I want you to have a great week and I want you to um, think about ways that sometimes you do things that, um, you know, maybe are silly in the long run. Like you were just jealous of somebody so you um, maybe weren't so nice. And if that happens this week, I want you to think about it and then make sure you um, make it right, okay? So you can apologize or invite that friend to play with you or find some way to um, grow your heart this week and follow God's way, um, not that, you know, scary when we're just operating from, oh, I just don't like that they're having fun and I'm not. Um, like the Grinch and King Herod, okay? Um, so let's um, say a prayer and um, join me. God, thank you. Thank you for the light. Thank you for the joy. Thank you for the love that Jesus brought to our world. In all this, we are so grateful. Amen. And all the children said, amen, amen, amen. I love you all. I hope you all have a wonderful week. Have fun painting your tinfoil and making these super fun stars. And I will post the directions on um, below this video after it premieres. 
and I will post some other fun activities for you as well. Um, again, if you happen to be in Mount Pleasant area and you would like to join us, you are always welcome. Be well. Bye-bye.